Yo, 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 what's going on everybody? Stock Apples Jack here bringing you a brand new video. And today, we're going to be discussing MMTLP. Yes, as you can see, currently sitting on a price of $2.46 USD. And it's up 62% the past five days. But, so what's the hype with this? I know if you're an OG to this channel, we discussed this, I'd say, uh, over a year ago, discussing uh, meta materials, of course, discussing meta, meta materials, of course, and how MMTLP was a dividend of them pretty much flat since I believe last November is when it first appeared on the market. I could be wrong in saying that, but as you can see, as of late, a big, big uprise. And that is because an S1 came out of the new company Nextbridge. And as you can see, here discussing the discussing the price per share of MMTLP. As you can see, in particular, if any investors have sold shares of MMTLP short, then in connection with the distribution of such, investors may feel compelled to buy shares of MMTLP to cover such sales before the distribution. If this were to occur, given the potential high demand from buyers with a relatively low supply of MMTLP shares available for sale in the OTC market, the MMTLP price per share as shown and the OTC market may significantly rise. Now, that is bullish sign. We're going to get into some bearish sign. I do own some shares of this. I'm not a huge, huge investor in this. I did hold out my, my meta for the dividend. And we're still waiting, but it's looking good. And as you can see, George Palakiras, the CEO of Meta Materials, this was on October 5th tweeted out happy to report that our team has been working on the sec feedback and that the s1 has been updated and submitted today please check for details in the published filings we'll get into those filings in a moment but basically that picture there you see is basically tip of iceberg and he posts this cryptic stuff like this all the time so i don't really you know go into that as much but as you can see on september 15th the short interest on mmtlp was 6.6 .6 million shares now, apparently, there's a lot of naked shares. You'll see bulls posting about that, how, you know, something like 60 million around that. Naked shorts who have to pay up from the TRCH. Back when it was that. Now, I, I'm not the one to, I'm not sure if that's necessarily true. I see people saying that they already covered last year before MMTLP occurred. But again, I'm just bringing you some some facts here that I know and I'm not going to give you any false information because this is a bit tricky to explain as you can see of course leave your comments down below and you know what you do know what you believe we'll get in the next bridge here basically as you can see the distributed securities 165.5 million shares of our common stock owned by meta which will be 100% of our common stock issued and outstanding immediately prior to distribution so that's how many shares will be in the next bridge each shareholder, of course, of the Series A preferred stock will receive one share of our common stock for every one share of the of the preferred stock held at the record date. The distribution agent will distribute only whole shares of our common stock and distribution. Shares of common stock that remain held by Meta following distribution, if any, shall be canceled immediately after the spinoff. And as you can see, another interesting point here that, you know, I don't see, in, see a lot of people talking about. Now, some people may have discussed this, but the capital and what they will do if you know they need to raise additional capital in the future it says here if oil or natural gas prices on the commodities markets decline which right now is not looking like it because you know opec currently canceled two two million barrels of oil per day at the time of this video but as you can see our future revenues if any will likely decrease and such decreases in revenues may in increase our requirements for capital if the amount of capital we are able to raise from financing activities together with our revenues from operations is not sufficient to satisfy our capital needs, we may be required to seize our operations, assets, and unattractive prices or obtain financing or unattractive terms. So basically, they're talking about possible dilution. And I do say it here as well. And I do say it here as well, which may have a further dilutive effect. So of course, that's not what you want to see. Personally, in this, you're probably going to see a run-up a couple of days before the distribution date, which is in late October, and you may see a big drop. But you could see a run-up before with the possible short squeeze, yes, with the 6 million shares we, we talked about there earlier. But again, the days leading up to the distribution date, which is supposed to be in late October, you know, you could see a run-up. But of course, none of these videos are financial advice, guys. As you can see, 
discusses here, the common stock is not eligible with the DTC, which may result in some brokerage firms unwilling to trade the stock. As you can see, a significant number of holders from the preferred stock post such shares in street name brokerage accounts. And I do know some people that have held it in, in you know, on sites where they have to transfer to an OTC or, well, merge on a personal account, I guess. And it's, there's tax limitations on it. And as you can see, our shares of common stock will not become eligible with DTC to permit their shares of common stock to trade electronically. If an issuer is not DTC eligible, then its capital stock cannot be electronically transferred between brokerage accounts, which means that brokerage firms may be unwilling to trade our common stock, restricting all trades by holders of our common stock following the spinoff. Guys, well, this is extremely tricky. I advise you to call your brokerage if you're not sure about this because many are different. Many have certain terms and conditions. And to be honest with mine, it's tricky as well. But, you know, just be sure because this, it seems like there's a mess made of this. As you can see, another thing, the Oregon Project, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I remember it's in my older video. I got told off for how I pronounced this. I'm probably still not pronouncing it wrong. So you can tell me off down below if you like as you can see, of course, the 134,000 gross acres. Of course, the undeveloped is 134. And you see people saying possible, like, I believe, 3.2 billion barrels of oil there, which, of course, would be astronomical. Like, that's a load of load of money. But again, so many different things, so many different pieces of paperwork you see, whether, you know, that much oil is there. And, you know, of course, being undeveloped is not good as well. They're paying to keep it, you know, operational belief they made more drilling holes there last year just to keep it functional but again this is difficult guys like i said i hold the stack so i only want the best here's the orgrande project ownership as of march 31st of this year and as you can see here torchlight energy of course which is for the merger they only own 49.875 percent apparently they want to own 100 percent. so if that's the case you know dilution could be a factor as they hand out more and more shares. And of course, with 165 million, that's going to get transferred over as it is. You'll, you start to get up there. But again, 50% is not horrible. But if they want to own 100%, they have to buy out six other companies here, which could be a problem. Of course, guys, this video is only meant to bring you facts and information here that I'm showing you. You have your own opinion. Please leave your opinions down below because this has been a long journey. And I brought you this meta before and MMTLP before, like over a year ago. And of course, we've seen su substantial drops in those prices. But guys, please leave your comments down below. If this video, if you liked it any bit, please leave a link, subscribe for more content. And guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching.